Good morning, Burley kids. We've been studying, uh, doing a Bible study on the fruits of the Spirit, as you know, in our Sunday school class. And these are the fruits of the Spirit we've done so far. We've done the joy of the Lord. We've done patience. We've done kindness. We've done gentleness. We've done... What else have we done? Oh, we've got a good one this week. This week, we've got a brand new fruit of the Spirit. And this fruit of the Spirit is called self-control. And that is one of the very, very, very most beautiful fruits of the Spirit you can have. And the poor tree here is getting very weighed down with all this fruit. Because these are all the fruits that the Lord would like us to have. So we've got the joy of the Lord, we've got patience, we've got kindness, we've got goodness, we've got gentleness, we've got self-control, we've got all these wonderful things and they're all very important. Now, I'll leave you with the tree for a moment while I just go and do something else. I might find a pair of pruning shears to prune him if he's not being good. Alright, see you for now. I hope my tree was very good. I just had to go and have a look and see what else I could find for another branch. But I don't think he needs another branch because he's fitted everything on there. He's got the love. He's got the patience. He's got the joy. He's got the gentleness. He's got the kindness. He's got the patience. And he's got the self-control. And he's got all sorts of things on there. So I think we've done a good job and I think all of our girls and boys have done a marvellous job doing these fruits of the Spirit. I want you to remember how important it is to grow these special things in our lives. Because as we grow older and as we grow bigger and we read the Word of God and we pray to God, these things become bigger and better and better in our lives. And girls and boys, we'll see you next time you have a great week. Bye for now.